usual time, so let's go ahead and get started. To start off, I will be using my NYX Cosmetics Hydro Touch Primer, and I love this primer because it has chamomile, green tea, and ginseng root, which will help extract your skin, making it soft, smooth, and refreshed. Now with this base primer spray from NYX, I'm going to spray it all over my face, and this will help lock in your makeup, so you definitely need this for an all-day festival. One of my favorite Pro Longwear foundations is this waterproof foundation from MAC and this is essential because you're going to be in the sun and probably dancing around everywhere so you want to make sure that your foundation stays on all day and the way that I like to apply my foundation is by using a stippling brush first and then patting it down with my beauty blender and I do this because a stippling brush gives you a flawless application while the beauty blender smooths out any lines that you might have left from the brush. With my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder, I'm going to use the lighter brown to outline my eyebrows and I always start by creating a guideline on the bottom first and then connecting it from the top to the end of my eyebrows. This will also help you with creating and shaping the right brows for your face. And after you create the shape of your brows, go ahead and start to fill everything in and use the darker brown shade on the end of your brows so you can have that fading effect onto your eyebrows. And once that is done, make sure to clean it up with concealer for a nice and defined look. For my eyeshadow base, I'm going to be using this NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. And I like to apply this product onto my eyelids and then with my ring finger, blending it out onto my skin. I find that this is the best way to blend everything out because your fingers are warm and it'll help melt the product evenly onto your eyelid. And I'm also going to apply some powder on top to keep my eyes from creasing as well. Using my Morphe 12 NB palette, I'm going to apply this nude eyeshadow onto my eyelids. And then with this orangey brown tone, I will be placing it slightly above my crease and this will act as my transition shade. So as you can see here, I'm taking a fluffy brush and blending out the color because you want to make sure that your eyeshadows are blending into one another as you add more colors onto your eyes. Now with this deeper brown, I'm going to apply this directly above my crease and making sure that I blend out the color as I go. And once this is done, I'm just going to go back with the nude eyeshadow and redefining my crease so that we can have a deep and defined cut crease look. To create an illusion of bigger eyes, I will be applying a white eyeliner onto my waterline and this one is from NYX Cosmetics. Next, I will be using this felt tip liner from NYX Cosmetics as well and just applying it onto my eyes. And because I want to keep my eyes bright and wearable, I find that using a white color definitely draws attention to your eyes without it being too colorful. Going back with my Jumbo Pencil in Milk, I'm going to add this onto the inner corners of my eyes and I'm just blending it out with my Morphe 205 brush. Now with this Graduate Palette from NYX, I will be taking this silver eyeshadow and applying it on top as well. And I'm using this technique to help brighten up my eyes even more than it was before. And finally, lashes. I purchased these from Forever 21, so I don't know what they're called, but they are amazing. So if you ever stop by Forever 21, they're usually up by the cash register, so you can definitely check them out. Moving on to my face, I'm going to be using this cream highlight and contour palette from NYX. And with this product, I like to use my ring finger to apply under my eyes and on my chin. And then to contour, I like to use my Morphe E47 brush to sculpt out the hollows of my cheeks and then the areas around my forehead. Now to blend out my concealer, I like to use my Morphe M334 brush because it's a small angle buffer so it fits perfectly under your eyes to blend everything out.
And as for my contour, I like using this small stippling brush from e.l.f. Cosmetics. And this is a great tool for blending your cream contour because it can create soft layers by adding texture for a natural airbrush look. After using any cream product, you want to make sure that you set it with a powder. So for this, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. Starting with the color Banana, I'm just going to apply this under my eyes, as you can see here. Now with these three darker shades, I'm going to lightly apply it to the hollows of my cheeks. And as you apply the product, make sure you blend upwards and in a circular motion so that you can evenly sculpt out your cheekbones and the outer perimeters of your forehead. It's now time to highlight. So the Bomb Cosmetics Mary Luminizer is one of my all-time favorite highlighters and you want to place this on the high points of your face, which is going to be your cheekbones, the tip of your nose, the bridge of your nose, and on your cupid's bow. And we want our faces to glow in the sun, so you definitely need to highlight to the max, like literally to the max. Moving on, I will be using this liner from NYX Cosmetics and I'm just slowly tracing over my natural shape. Once that is done, I'm going to fill it in with my lingerie liquid lipstick and this color is called Exotic. I usually wait for a couple of seconds for the lipstick to dry and then apply the next color. And this one here is called Baby Doll. I seriously have been loving these two shades together, so if you're looking for a nice nude, this combination is definitely perfect for you. And now finally, the last step to this look, since I want to balance out the glow on my face, I'm going to add a gloss onto my lips as well. And this lip gloss is perfect because it has ultra reflective glitter, so your lips will sparkle and shine all day. And this is the completed look for my music festival makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to give my video a thumbs up if you liked it. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I truly appreciate all of your love and support. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!